Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNut and welcome back to The Witcher 3 on the Death March difficulty. We're still playing the Blood and Wine DLC and it feels like we're wrapping up this storyline. We're uh, going towards a, a ceremony in which we'll probably get uh, awarded knighthood or something like that. But uh, first off, we're trying to uh, figure out some loose ends. So we're gonna have a little chat and uh, with uh, Siana in regards of her trying to kill, well, uh, murder her uh, sister, her very own sister. I think it's pretty clear what her motives are. I mean, her sister left her to uh, die in the wilderness all by herself, so I think that's enough for a motive to wanting her dead. But this seems to be the place where I should be able to talk to her. Probably guarded by a few guys. But maybe I can use uh, Axie to get around that. So, hello? Any guards? Up the stairs, and over here, it doesn't look like there are any guards, actually. Oh, seems like we do need to get higher. No, oh, there's a guard. Hello! Hi, sir. Oh, are you the guard Sisiana from the cemetery? In the matter of? Um, she suspected of planning the Duchess's assassination. Um, wanna talk to her, plain and simple. Wanna talk to her, it's important. Want to talk? Go see your gran at tea time. Not one locked up on the Duquesa's orders. No doing without special permission. Period. Found some information important to her case. Need an explanation. Urgently. Ah, fine then. You're that witcher who solved the murders, no? Then you for my permission, but only for a few minutes. That, that was easy. Brief. That was very easy for some reason. Follow the guard to Siana's cell. Uh, is it so hard to find? Why do his legs look so short? Probably because of those weird pants. Okay, more guards. With the inmate. You can take a momentary break. As long as it's truly but a moment. Highly irregular, this. Okay. Yeah, it's probably irregular, but not that weird. I'm fine, thank you. Artorius's Ripon worked wonders. It's a shame they took it from I me. I know for... who the fifth victim was supposed to be. Goodness, you're simply a compulsive snoop. I'm in prison. Deadlaf is dead. Could you not just drop it? Sienna, stop pretending you couldn't care less. I know it's an act, and it's really starting to wear. Why yeah. do you want to kill Come her? Come on. For such an accomplished investigator to ask about the obvious? Come now, Geralt. Why do you think? There we go. Of course, um, because she turned her back on you, forgot about you. Because she turned her back on you, then banished all memory of you. Bravo, Geralt. Yet another riddle solved, and your sick curiosity sated. Why are you mad at me? Well, we kind of saved now? your life. Off to share your discovery with Anna Henrietta. Though she's no longer in danger, true. But she very well might add a little something to your reward. Definitely gonna tell her. Not necessarily for the coin, though. Then why do it at all? She ought to know. If only because you'll probably try to kill her again if she ever lets you out. Is she? I probably will. Okay. Never mind. Ah, honesty, finally. Ever told to forgive her? Think I've heard enough. Um... Don't know if Siana is the forgiving type. But... Ever thought to forgive her or honesty, finally. Let's go with that. Perhaps, just for a second, you could stop dwelling on all the wrongs folk have done you and forgive her. Why should I? For old time's sake. You loved each other once. <sighs> Please. I don't know who fed you that rubbish, but... Read your governess's diary. You played together. We're inseparable. Honorietta'd get you into trouble sometimes, sure, but there were also times she stood up for you. When you had nightmares, only she could calm you. Time eats away at memories, distorts them. Sometimes we only remember the good, sometimes only the bad. Okay, take it easy. If she loved me so, why did she wash her hands off me? Forget me, hmm? Might ask her, Dad, indeed. Well, she's not a child anymore, so that's not really an excuse. I might ask her that. Don't know. 
But you could just ask her instead of sending monsters after her. There's nothing she could say to change what she did to me, to justify it. Maybe. But there's nothing out there to justify what you did to her and all Toussaint. Yet Anna Henrietta hasn't given up on you. Yeah, she hasn't murdered you yet. You meant what you said in the Land of a Thousand Fables. You really want a happy ending to this story, don't you? We always want that. Ah, with all of us living happily ever after. Go, Witcher, or they'll give your medal to another. And that would be a shame. <laughs> Thank Farewell, you, Sianna. Sianna. And that will probably be the last we see of her. Goodbye, Sianna. She was a very interesting character, though. Not that she's dead, but hopefully her sister grants her a bit of amnesty. Commander de la Tour would like to see you. Shall we go at once? Yeah, indeed. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go get that medal and finish this sometime later. Hello, Damien. Damien. Geralt, it's about time. Ready for the ceremony. Oh, your wound has started to heal rather nicely. Um, are we gonna mention that? And she wanted to kill her own sister. Don't look too good. Your face doesn't look good. Though it looked even worse last I saw you. I apply a balm of Annika. Yeah, I hardly feel it anymore. Although it's just started to itch now, didn't it, Damien? Uh, I'm gonna not tell that, because, I don't know. It seems wrong. Nothing actually happened. We don't want to punish Sianna more than we already have. So uh, we can start. All right, we can start. Very well. But you must behave. Less like a hired thug, and more like a man deserving of the Duchy's highest honor. Okay, any tips? In fact, you'd do best to maintain a dignified silence throughout. Let's begin the ceremony. Come with me. The Duchess awaits. Okay. So let's see if somebody, something else is going to happen in this scene. In the guild's name, I beg your assistance, your enlightened highness. Without barrels, Production will come to a stop, and it will be the end of us. You lost them all in the fire. These are horrible tidings. Oh, we are most dreadfully saddened. Yes, your enlightened highness all. Once the beasts had clawed their way into the warehouse, the whole place went up in flames. I shall dispatch a palace guardsman to examine the site of the blaze. If things are as you say, fitting compensation shall be paid from the Ducal Treasury. Thank you, your enlightened highness. Just so uh, she can have her wine your back, grace, probably. Geralt of Rivia has arrived. My dear subjects, we come now to our next point of business. Of all the duties which fall upon my shoulders, as the ruler of this dominion, this duty is dearest to my heart. For now, we shall award the Order of Vitis Vinifera, Tucson's highest honor. Geralt of Rivia, slayer of the beast of Beauclair, step forth. What is he doing? <clears throat> step forward, Geralt. We bestow the distinction upon the Witcher, who saved Beauclair from the terrible beast. Such is our desire. Okay, last May action the hero. Serve as a Trophy. reminder to all that the Witcher shall forever remain a friend of Beauclair. Well, I hope we do remain. Don't we get some of that wine? In more familiar terms now. I thank you immensely, Geralt. Damien has your reward for you. After all, it was but a contract. Well, okay. it turned out to be a lot I more than a contract. A for you, in addition. I give you more than a dozen barrels of Son Real, 
A wine normally reserved for the ducal table. The gustatory five thousand crowns. Nice. Awaits. Are you content? Um, got bad news. Siana was out to kill you. I think this is a pretty bad moment to do so. Um, truly honored. Feels like a second distinction. I'm honored. Thank you. I trust you shall make good use of it. Okay. I wonder if there's any other moments we can actually say that Siana wanted to I kill you. Speak to Siana. Will you assist me? You returned oh, my sister to me. Yet you also showed me her horrendous deeds. As head of state, I must judge her fairly. But she is my sister. Thus my heart bleeds for her. If my presence will help in any manner, of course I'll stay. We shall now question a person implicated in the murders which recently ravaged our fair city of Beauclair. Captain de la Tour, show Sylvia Anna in. So Sylvia Anna and Anna Henrietta. Interesting. So they kind of share the same name as well. Let's see. How much can we influence this scene? She always keeps her hand at her back for some reason. Like she's hiding something. The Witcher will take part in our talk. Um, free to do as I choose. Duchess asked me to stay. The Duchess requested I be present. You have committed crimes. Grave crimes. Yet you are my sister. And my heart does not allow me to treat you as a common criminal. Thus, I have asked Geralt to advise me, as one impartial. Uh, we're not I really impartial now hear anymore. What he has to say. Um, si um. Hmm. Yeah, you you guys know what um I stand on this. Uh, how I stand on this subject. So Siana's crimes were horrible, but she had cause to feel pain. Uh, but I am wondering whether we are actually impartial since we uh. Had a little tumble in the clouds a few episodes ago. Well, two episodes ago. But hey, let's give our opinion. Bitterness consumes Siana. She had cause to resent many of the court of Beauclair. I know her reasons, understand them even. But I can't condone the actions she chose to take. What is he talking about, Siana? You know exactly what. I was forcibly exiled, remember? To your benefit. You knew well the throne would then be yours, though I was the elder. The ministers I can understand. They've hated me since I was a child, so it's me a poor prospect for the wife of a duke. I even understand our parents. I'd always sensed the problem. They simply feared me, for I dared to be free. That fabricated curse, it fell into their laps. A gift from above that brought relief. But you, your dagger hurt most. You were my honorietta, dammit. My darling little sister. Now do you understand, Witcher? She betrayed me. We have always understood. Um, claim to understand all those you detested had killed. Um, you were children then both. Let not, let's not make this any worse than it already is. So, you were children then, both of you. You were children then. You and your sister both had no control over what happened. You're wrong, Witcher. She had control. Remember, dear sister, the day they banished me from the palace. Of course, I'd had the idea to pelt the Nilfgaardian envoy with fish bladders, which we filled with rancid suet on a lark. And which you set afire at the last to impress me, I imagine. And I admit, you did. Hit him right in his hideous bold patch. Never laughed so hard in my life. But when it came time to find the culprit, you said not a word. I took all the blame and all the punishment. It's true. I did not stand up for you. 
I was too afraid. The council was unanimous. They listed all my offenses, my flights from the palace, supposed acts of cruelty, inappropriate friendships. They cast me out, but you, the only one to understand me, you cowered in a corner, lifted not a finger to help. Not before, not after. You never tried to find me. That's not true. I searched for you, sent out knights, gathered tidings from without. You did not wish to be found. Since the day you vanished, I have lived with the knowledge that I failed you. I'm sorry, dear sister. Can you forgive me? Oh, don't give her the opportunity to... Okay. Was she tickling her? Oh god. Don't stab... Don't... Hopefully she doesn't have a knife. Because this is gonna be... This is gonna end bad if that's the case. Don't have a knife. No, 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 no. Mm. Okay. Please, don't die. That's a smile. And a happy ending. I don't think that would have handled so happy happy ceremony. It was short. If I told everybody she wanted Perhaps to kill the Duchess. He ducked out early. The others are probably just getting started. The drunkenness never ends in this Queen realm. Not so fond of Toussaint after all, are we? Oh, this place is like a strong wine, Geralt. Good in small sips. So I'm back at uh, Mère Lachaise Long Cemetery. Personal brew, not too strong. Just Mandrake. Right. Credit the local Mandrake of the Alrauna Diabolus variety for that. The tubers which grow in this area's volcanic soil have an altogether unique flavor profile and display a remarkably uncommon dark brown tint. Fascinating. All I can say is this batch turned out excellent. Indeed. It might be wise to stockpile some roots for the future. Would you care to accompany me? Of course we would. Right now in the dark. <laughs> you decide to go root picking now? It's dark out. Ah, oh, Geralt. Even were I generously to assume it had simply slipped your mind that I am a vampire and thus need no light to see, I'd never believe you had also forgotten that you likewise have absolutely no trouble seeing in the dark. So, shall we? Yes, we shall. If you think it's a good idea, let's go. But I think you might be forgetting one thing. Fresh mandrake root of this variety is highly toxic, even to a witcher. Ah, not a problem. I never forget matters of safety and hygiene in alchemy. Here, gloves and a mask. Don them, and you shall be in no danger. Thanks. Right then, let's go. Okay, let's go mandrake uh, picking. This but we're gonna have to put on the mask and gloves. So dreamy. Penny for your thoughts. And there we go. Guess. Succubus twins? Uh, no, I was thinking about... Oh, how anything can look interesting when properly lit. Even an old necrophage corpse? You've not an ounce of refinement in you, have you? Yeah, that was a really weird answer, Geralt. What the hell? Seriously. So, where are the mandrake roots? Mandrake roots? Let's take a look around. Looks like it's over here. Picked mandrake root. There we go. Now we need another one. Let's take a look around over there. Now this looks a bit like a carrot. Big mandrake root. There we go. Let's go back to Regis. Pump in strange circumstance. Now where'd that bloodsucker go? Yeah, indeed. Be easy to track down. He's a vampire after all. Where the hell is he? Damn it! Where'd you go? So footprints. I don't think that's going to be his Regis. He's a vampire, right? How, how would we be able to... Damn Why would he be go. walking? That's maybe a better question. 
Oh, what the? You raise your hand against the vampire. You shall die for that. I did what I had to do. These are uh, easy to defeat Bruxes. God Those damn it. Bruxes, eh? They called you a traitor. Alas, we have a very simple code of honor, we vampires. So simple you might call it trivial. Either one is with us, unconditionally, regardless of the circumstances, or. Won't let it go, will they? They will not. Fortunately, we have another rule, an unwritten one. And just as trivial as the first. It is neatly summarized in the saying, out of sight, out of mind. That is why I must leave Toussaint. For a vastly long time, most like. Yeah, I get it. <sighs> Let us make for my camp. I've an overwhelming desire to have another drink. Yeah, I can understand that. Or Regis had to kill his uh, one of his friends. And now is punished for it even mm. more. Supreme bouquet. Firm, defined beginning. Then develops gently, rising to a, a startling finish. Don't you think? Yeah, it's Not good, I presume. Then it is high time you started your education. After all, the Corvo Bianco vineyard is now yours. By the way, I left a gift for you at your new home. On the nightstand. <laughs> Thanks. Mind telling me what it is? Ugh, a trifle. That will nonetheless be useful should you need mutagens. Incidentally, have you thought about what you'll do with your prize? Shall you hang your swords over the mantle and take to pruning vines? Good question. If Yennefer can make it, I'll probably settle down. Huh. It's actually a nice way of letting me choose that. Let's try that first. You know what? Think I just might. Come on now, don't laugh. Maybe not today or tomorrow. But one day I'll want to see what it's like to just wake up every day in my own bed. Oh, stop, please. Sounds so sentimental, my fangs have begun to hurt. And what? <laughs> Will you begin writing your memoirs like Dandelion? That might be a good idea. The Dandelion lost his memoirs, by the way. I can remember a night. Not too far from here, if I'm not mistaken. We hid in a cave while a blizzard raged all about. Does that sound at all familiar? It does. How could it not? we just set off to rescue Ciri from Vilgefortz. Oh, our encounter with Vilgefortz. That is something I do not remember so fondly. But that first stay in Beauclair, far calmer than this one. Seemed like a land straight out of a fairy tale back then. Its sole problem, cellars too small to accommodate all that wine. Appearances, Geralt. Appearances, like Mamoons and Dopplers, deceive. So what did become of Vilgefortz? Killed him. Sure wasn't easy, though. So we're talking book uh, story in this one. Um... Well, you go. What about you? Any idea where you'll go? I'm gonna miss Regis. Distance is of the essence. I thought I might venture south. Nilfgaard? Why ever not? The Nilfgaardians are a modern society. None there believe in vampires anymore. This fact alone could be very useful to one wishing to remain incognito. Hmm. Interesting point of view. Yeah, indeed. Because it's not because they don't believe in vampires that they won't start believing if they fucking cease one in the flesh. But hey, let's sit a while longer. <sighs> I so don't feel like going anywhere. Oh, look at so that. A while longer. Title screen so and all. Shall, my friend. We have witnessed and in fact on several occasions incited many great and weighty events. After all that toil... I believe we deserve a bit of a rest. Thank you, Regis. That we do. That we do indeed. So that was blood and wine. Oh, look at that. He looks straight in the camera. Thank you, Geralt. That was awesome. That was blood and wine. 
I must say it's the better of the two expansion packs by far. Um, that was a really cool story and I think we could get an entirely different quest if we had uh, chosen to meet with that master vampire instead of going to the land of a thousand fables. But that was, that was really interesting. Really liked the setting, really liked what they did with the setting because uh, the setting alone isn't everything. The land of Toussaint was a really nice place and they uh, they made the most most of it in this expansion pack. I uh, really liked the story as well so that uh, the rivalry between the two sisters eventually turned out to be the cause of uh, the beast of Beauclair. Uh, still kind of think it's a bit sad that we couldn't redeem Detloff, that we had no other choice than killing him, but maybe the other path um, well, allows us to do just that. And that might actually also indicate what I'm going to do next, is I think I'm going to reload that capture the castle save file and uh, try to take the other path this time, to try and uh, reach that master vampire instead of going for Siana and see what happens with that. It might not be immediately that I'm, do I'm doing that. Uh, I think I'm going to go for a few of the side quests first. And then when, uh, when the time is ripe, we'll go for the, uh, the alternate storyline in another What If, a few probably What If episodes. But, thank you guys enormously for watching. Um, you know what, I might actually go skip this and see if anything else happens, but I don't think it will. Let's skip. Uh, yeah, there we go. Actually, I'd love to go home. I'd love to go home, be it ever so humble. But that will be for the next episode because I'm going to take a little break. So uh, if you enjoyed the episode and the ending of Blood and Wine, well, it appears it's not yet the ending, but uh, we'll see that in the next episode. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, don't forget to give it a thought to subscribe to my channel because I'd really appreciate any support you guys can give me. So thanks again and obviously for watching and I hope to see you in the next video or series. Goodbye.